In this video, we'll be looking at what is a pedal point, some musical examples, and then how we can write a pedal point in MuseScore and Sibelius. Pedal point is using a long sustained note or a repeated note in one voice while the chords or melody change around it. The traditional definition has the sustained note in the bass, while a sustained note in the highest voice is called an inverted pedal point. But the idea of a pedal point can happen in any register. The pedal point is often the dominant of the key, providing increasing tension through the chord changes until the pedal point and the chords resolve to the tonic. Another common scenario is when the pedal point is the tonic, which provides tonal stability. A drone and a pedal point can often be confused. Normally a pedal point will sort of resolve in some way, whereas a drone may just continue through the whole of a piece. Let's look at some examples. Here is a part of the prelude in D major BWV 532 by J.S. Bach. In this excerpt, Bach uses a pedal point F sharp on the pedals of the organ, hence the name pedal point. He builds dissonance over this pedal point with diminished seventh chords and including a held E sharp until finally resolving to the F sharp major triad to fit with the pedal. This is the opening of This is Burke from How to Train Your Dragon by John Powell. Here the pedal point is in the tuba and to start with the bass trombone, holding an F. Above that, the rest of the lower brass mostly have harmony fitting an F major chord, but move in and out of dissonance with it. Each section starts in consonance, moves to dissonance, and then returns to consonance with the pedal point. This use of the pedal point is also similar to a drone, and evokes the idea of the drone of bagpipes with a melody over it. This is the opening of Say Something by Great Big World and Christina Aguilera. Pedal point is a feature through much of this song, but it is particularly noticeable in the opening, where this repeated D is played over the changing chords. This is an interesting case because the D belongs in all of the chords except the last one. Where it creates a dissonance with the C sharp. This would have been far less obvious if the repeated note had not been emphasized by the rhythm. As we see here. This rhythm draws our ears to that repeated D and lets us follow it through the chord changes. Because the D is at the top of the chord, this is theoretically an inverted pedal point. Let's write some pedal point in MuseScore and Sibelius. To make a pedal point is fairly simple. We'll choose our starting point and I'll make a long note. Uh, this is using our Bach example, so it needs to be the F sharp. Let's make it an octave lower. We'll make sure that we've still got our our duration selected, and then we need to tie, which we can either use this button tie or the shortcut, which is plus on the numpad. And it just adds more bars. As we get to the last one, I'll change that to quaver, and then a final plus adds it in. Making repeated notes is also fairly simple. I'll select my duration. I'm using the numpad. Again, it's the wrong octave. We can simply keep going. Uh, 
Now here we want this to be in the voice 2 and the repeated note in voice 1. So I'll select those, make them a voice 2, and then continue on from here. Again, select the duration. And now that I've done my first one, I can literally just press R to repeat as many times as I need it. Repeated notes in Sibelius are also fairly simple. dot quaver again these I need to make second voice so that's on the bottom of my keypad here that gives me a first voice to work with then we'll use dotted crotchet and again R for repeat as many times as I need it sustained notes in Sibelius are also fairly simple I'll select my duration note is F. To tie it, we'll use the enter on the number pad or the tie on the keypad. Then we could just repeat and tie, repeat and tie. But possibly even easier than that is to select the whole bar and repeat and it, the tie goes along with it. Then we can just remove that tie at the end. Enjoy playing with some pedal point.